Hi everyone, I am Brittany and I am here to talk to you today about my kinky straight hair. I recorded videos back like three years ago and then I stopped because I'm like, I was really, really lazy. But in 2015, I'm going to be better. I'm going to post videos. I'm going to post on my blog. If you like these earrings, you can check them out on my store notsobasic.com I'll put the link down below um yeah let's get started first let me turn my ringer off because the group messages <sighs> kill me and let me check my text message okay so let's start this hair is kinky straight this is not how the hair looks straight like when you get it when you get it the hair is like very it looks something like crimps like little tiny crimps um i post a picture of i don't think i have the pictures of the hair like when i first got it but i do have pictures of the hair like just washed and worn basically um, I did get this hair back in March 2014 and it is now December 29th 2014 so I've been having this hair for a while of course I don't wear it every day like I haven't worn it from March to December but I've worn it for a good amount of time like it's on a wig cap like this is a wig um the way that I did it, it's kind of like the flip over method, but with my own little spin to it. Right now, I don't think it looks that cute. Hold on. Flip it over to the other side. I did have it like a middle part earlier when I was taking pictures. And then I kind of flipped it over. So, who knows what it really looks like right now. Let's do this. Okay, I think I like it like, it, like this maybe I don't know okay yeah I'll just put pictures of the hair like I want it in so many different styles right now this is a flexi rod set I used um flaxy gel that I made myself um my roommate taught me how to make it <clears throat> it's very easy too um I just washed the hair let it dry straight and then I put the flaxy gel on it and rolled it in flexi rods and I left it like in the flexi rods are about two days because once again it is a wig so I don't wear it every day and when I took the flexi rod set out it was so huge so huge like I was getting ready to go to work and I just did not know what to do with it because it was just so huge and I never thought that I wouldn't know what to do with huge hair like it was just humongo okay the lengths are 22 20 18 and 16 um I'm not really sure if I have all of the 16 in or not because when I first got this hair I only ordered an 18 and a 16 to use as clip-ins and um, like for my bun. But then I really love the hair so I decided to go back and order more. So I'm not really sure and then I gave like some of the hair to my, like, I gave, like, some of my extra hair to my mom for her buns. So I honestly don't know how much hair I have in my head. I know that I have for sure the 20, the, the 22, the 20, and the 18. So I know I at least have three packs. Then I know that this is, like, 16, I guess. So, and I know all of this is 16. So, I don't, who knows? I don't know. It's just a lot of hair. Which I do like. And being that it's kinky straight, I don't really have to straighten my real hair because I am natural. So all I did today, today was my wash day. So I did wash my hair and I blue dry straight and I braided it back with the front. I just braided it and then I took the braids out and I'm here. I didn't straighten it or anything. Like sometimes I will straighten it like just the roots. Like, I leave the rest of the hair however it is. I just only straighten it. When I do straighten it, I just straight, straighten the roots to give me, like, a more sleek look. But most of the times, I don't have to straighten it. I have colored this hair, like, probably, like, three times since I've gotten it. The first time I colored it, just to put, like, a purple tint on it, like, for, like, when I go outside and the, the sun hits it, it has, like, a purple tint. 
you couldn't you couldn't really tell like if I took any pictures in it you couldn't tell I could only tell and if I asked people hey can you see the purple tint then they'd be like oh yeah I could kind of see it but then I colored it I bleached it and it came out to be like this brownish orangey-ish color the color was slightly cute but it just other people liked it on me I just didn't like it on me it made me feel like it looked kind of ghetto so I wasn't really feeling it but I did wear it like that for a long time because I was too lazy to color it back but I finally colored it back black I will put pictures of the um the color when I colored it I finally colored it back black like when I was home for Christmas um so like a couple of days ago <clears throat> still smells good so it is back black I feel like black is just like more sexy and I think that it'll go with my New Year's Eve outfit better so yes I do color my hair to go with my outfits um what else about this hair the shedding is very minimal like I got a couple of strands just from pulling at it but like I don't I try not to like really run my fingers. like you know like when you have curly hair you try not to like run your fingers through the hair because you know that it is kinky so you're really like pulling at it rather than like combing it with your fingers if that makes any sense it makes sense to me um what else about the hair oh okay. no it's not it i have not straightened the hair like put a flat iron to it. actually i did for like one second and then i was like this makes no sense to me like i don't I didn't think because of the natural way like once you wash the hair maybe I'll do a video showing y'all like what the hair looks like just washed or not them like once you wash it it's straight let's see these are the clip-ins that I made and I don't think that I colored these So, here's an example. Who knows how long they have been forever in my hair drawer. Do y'all have hair drawers? I do. Okay. So, this is the hair in its natural state. How cool that I had this. It still smells good. Ugh. So, this is the hair in a natural state. That's why I don't really feel like I need to flat iron it. Like, you see, it's like little crinkles. And then... I hope y'all can see this. And then it is like a brownish color. Like not like light brown, but not like dark like this hair. You see this hair? I dyed this hair jet black. So this is like a natural, probably like a natural black. Well, not natural black because it's kind of brown. That doesn't make sense, does it? So this is like a very, very dark brown, almost black. Like you can like... I feel like in the camera it's giving off black, but as I look at it, it is more of like a, a brown. That, it makes sense. It does, I swear. And these are just the clippings that I made for my hair. So this is the hair in the natural state. The hair is extremely, extremely soft. You would not think that it is. Like when I'm at work and people touch my hair, I don't know why they're touching my hair, but they do. They are very surprised that the hair is very soft. It is extremely soft. Like, see, I can run my hands through this. I can't run my hands through this because, you know, it's I curled it and I want the curls to stay. But you can definitely run your hands through this and it's so freaking soft. Okay, maintenance. I don't really do much to maintain the hair. Like, it's a very low maintenance hair. Extremely low maintenance. Um, being that it's a wig, I don't really sleep with it on. If I do sleep with it on, um, I sleep bad. So if I do sleep with it on, I have to restyle it. But being that I don't sleep with it on, the curls last forever. Like, they... Of course, they don't last them. Like, they don't look like you just curled it. But, like, this hair, work hair. So, today is Monday. I went to work with this hair. I unrolled it Saturday. I went to work. I am a, a waitress slash bottle girl. 
Um, I don't know if y'all know what that is. You know, in the club, the girl who brings out the bottle with the sparkler. Woo! Okay, so that's... Ouch. So that's what I do. So, um, it's very fast-paced, moving around, people touching your hair. Don't know why people like to touch your hair. But, so, this, this lasts all night. Like, at the end of the night, I, my hair curls are still there. And... I didn't really do much on Sunday, but I did go out in the rain and I did not wear use an umbrella. I went out in the rain like several times because I just I'm getting umbrellas out to just too too much work. So this is rained on hair several times. Worked hair. I went to work holding bottles, fireworks, all that. And then today I'm here doing this video for you guys. So the curls do last, the styles do last. I don't know if it's, even before I used the flaxseed gel, how long is this video? Cause I'm talking forever. Okay, even before I used the flaxseed gel, if I curled the hair, the curls were still there the next week. I don't know if it's because I don't sleep on them or this hair just really holds curls, but you know, I've been having it since March and I love it. Um, I get a lot of compliments on it, a lot true, a lot of natural women, especially when I had it colored, because I, when it was colored, I feel like you could see the kink a little bit more up close and personal. So when it was colored, uh, natural women flocked and always wanted to know like where I got the hair from and it would look so much like their hair, blah, blah, blah. So I think this is a very nice, I really love this lipstick today too. Do y'all wear beauty supply store lipstick? I, random, I went on a like beauty supply lipstick hunt, not really hunt, like I knew that I was going there to buy lipstick. I was in the there for like an hour picking out lipsticks and the lip liners and I picked up a new primer. But let me show y'all this one because I really love this one and I'll probably never wear it again once my sister comes over and steals it. So, the lip liner that I used is Kiss. I forgot the name of it, but I think it was like, oh yeah, it's Mixed Berries. So, uh, the lip liner by itself just looks so good. Like, I was just going to leave it like that, but I want to try the lipstick too. Because, you know, you couldn't really try on stuff in the beauty supply store. I just was swabbing my hand. And then this lipstick. I really like this brand of lip products like I've, I've never seen the lipstick until I went to the store the other day but I use their have y'all seen these in the store these little sticky thingies they're only $2.99 and every time I wear this 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 is not what I bought yesterday but just backpedaling every time I wear this I get compliments like no matter what color people always think that it's MAC but no I got this from the beauty supply store for $2.99 one little sticky, $2.99. Still haven't ran out. Been having it for a minute. Surprised my sister hasn't stole this one from me yet either. But she probably did steal this one. I had to go buy another one. Do y'all have sisters that take y'all stuff? I have to like do a pat down every time she comes over. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, when I went to the beauty supply store, this is supposed to be about hair, right? But I'm sorry. When I went to the beauty supply, supply, little supply store, I seen that they have... This is like the same brand, I think. Yeah, it is the same. They had a little setup and like they have like all new makeup by these little people, these two ninety nine people, and they have lipsticks. And so, is this the lipstick I have on? I don't know if this is the lipstick that I have on or not. No, it's not. <laughs> this is the one that I have on. <sighs> this one, oh, is everything to me. I don't even know if they have a name for it. Ultra stick. Mm. I don't think they have a name for it. Do they have names on this one? This one has a name. It's called Very Red. Why doesn't this one have a name? I don't know. This one doesn't have a name, but it is cute. I'm going to name it cute today. So this is what it looks like. Oh. You see this at your beauty supply store? Don't mind my nails. I'm going to get them done after I make this video. You should definitely pick it up. Only $2.99. And it looks really, really good. 
I don't know if y'all can see it on the camera, but I would definitely put a picture. I freaking love it. Okay, I've done enough rambling. This video is 20 minutes. I'm going to have to edit it like for real, for real. That's another reason why it took me so long to make videos. I don't like editing anything. Once again, if you like my earrings, pick them up from my online accessory boutique, notsobasic.com. I have so much other stuff on there. Be sure to check me out. I will be posting more videos in 2015. Everyone have a lovely... I'm trying to clean up. Everyone have a lovely, lovely, lovely New Year's. Be blessed. And I'll see y'all again. Bye.